This one I actually like. Um, this one I don't think uh, it gives us a room for opinions, but it doesn't uh, doesn't cause arguments as much as some of the no, other ones. No, but people like that. Trump's an office. Yeah, that's man. true. That's Trump's true. That's right. It's good now. Yeah. We're all good. Um, what's the minimum gear you would buy on a budget? That's actually a really good question. Gun and sight. So sight. people people yeah. want to do this. I agree completely. I would add it. I would add backups. Yeah. Um, I see too many people yeah, I mean, invest in a, how far I, down the road. Right. Know, right. Are you into the optics? How much money do we have? Yeah. Wait. Define I mean, budget. I don't want to go irons yeah. like yeah. straight up. Like, Can you give me a monetary value yeah. on this budget? Because uh, my budget may be different. Yeah, but that's, no, that's, that's, a good, that's a good question. People always it's consider that. Small. Yeah. People work hard. People work hard for their money. They want to get the maximum value tactically out of what they're getting, but but it's performance over the long haul. You know, if you have to replace something all the time, but you replace it with cheap shit all the time, yeah, you've still spent the same amount of money you would spend on something quality. Um, I'm a huge proponent of a quality optic on an AR. Um, on all my AR platforms, I, I have a quality optic. I use aim points. I put T1s on most of my stuff, but I've got other very myriad of stuff. Plug in there. Well, no, it's just what I use. <laughs> yeah. It's it's you know I yeah. use what I use. Um, I'm in no way affiliated with it, but it's it's but I but I carry backup iron sights on everything. Yeah, no, absolutely. I carry an optic that I think is 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 very reliable, very robust. It's gonna survive the things I've put it through, and it has survived the things I've put it through. But it is. A, an electronic device that I'm putting on a weapon system that creates high recoil and that I'm going to put through harsh environments. Yeah. It can fail. I shoot with my iron sights up and I shoot with my optic on. I'm always ingraining that, that thing. So if, if I was going to say anything to anybody about, about what you should invest in, it would be a quality carbine yep. That's and I a see. quality optic with backup That's sights. That's it. Yep. Um, because it, and, and I go back to, and I understand like some of the people that watch this may think about, well, well, I don't shoot a carbine, I shoot a pistol. Okay, I mean, that's cool, but a pistol to me is a secondary. It's a backup. My primary is my rifle. Um, so I focus my energy there um, because if I've, had to, if I've had to lose the rifle, I'm going to a different world. I'm, I'm not oh, yeah. in, I'm not in my comfort zone as much as I was before. <laughs> oh, gee, yeah, I mean I don't so, want I don't want to yeah. piss off the pistol people. N neither do I. But, I mean, pistols holy are crap. pistols are viable in in certain situations, God. and they're viable yeah. for some people who are relegated to a pistol. Right. They can't carry a rifle. I get it. Right. I mean that but, is. But we li we lived in a world and operated in a world and learned in a world where you had a primary and a secondary. And we focus so much on our primary. I still do that. I still do that because you, you are what you know. You are what you, you know, Well, experience. how many guys do you know have actually had to, like, transfer to their secondary in a fight? Like, you probably, on one hand, count all of them. Now, does that mean you dismiss it as a skill set you need to train for? Absolutely not. No, but it, it, it frames your reference for, like, okay, what's the more important thing? I only know, like, two guys have ever actually done that, you know. And it's it, more than me. Yeah. It, I know something more than Bob. You saw, you saw yeah, it, Internet. Saw it. <laughs> All right. He admitted it, too. I only, know, I only know them. It wasn't me. Like, I only, you know. <laughs> That's true. It wasn't me. I just, yeah. I just know him. It was a friend. Yeah. But it's, uh, it, so it's like any hobby that, you know, uh, guys take on where it's like you don't want to commit the fallacy of buying all the equipment up front. Like, you know, I... Uh, when I first got into scuba diving, yeah, I was, they do though. Well, yeah. Oh, I've, I've been guilty right. of it. And, like, and some people yeah. have the financial means to do so, but if you're on a budget and you got to, well, I'm, only I'm have all a, about it. Yeah, buy, if, me too. If you have the budget, yeah, get buy the gear. whatever you want, but buy the best right. shit. If you don't have the money, well, then spend it on spend. carbine and spend it on your freaking sight. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> and then, if you know, once you get the money, buy the other stuff that you then, want. But then don't skip. On, don't skip with. on the carbine. Yeah. Don't skip on the, the sight, so you can have the cool sling, yeah. the cool G money grip, the cool. Uh, I don't even know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not a gear guy. So I don't even know what's out there. Bob, <laughs> Bob Keller, multiple we raids and hits. Does not care about gear. <laughs> Tactical shooting. As long as the gun works. Yeah. Tactical okay. shooting is the. It has the most accessorized ability oh, and yeah. of anything else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you but, can say, but, oh, I got to have this and I got to have that. The problem is too many people gotta... want all of it, so right. they skimp 
on the important stuff but so they can buy all well, of it. Some of these upgrades are like, you know, like upgrading a Honda Civic, basically, where it's like, how how sexy can you make this thing, you know? Or I, I see that with a lot of like uh, polymer guns or even just you like just carbines. Yeah, it's just like how, like, how much can you guys do to this before like, you know, you know, the increases are marginal. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, how much money are you gonna sink into this until it's, it's just diminishing that, returns? Maybe that's that. a decision point. Is it, you know, make your investments based on performance? Mm -hmm. Are you are you increasing the performance ability of you or that or that weapon system? If it is, if I'm it is, it. then but, maybe it's a viable. Maybe it's a viable I, expense. I think just for that question, yeah. If it comes down to like bare minimum, what should I buy? Right. Yeah. Any gun from Gamut that, Resolutions. Any, <laughs> <laughs> any gun that works is, and is right. reliable. Yeah. And any sight that works yeah, and that is homework. reliable. Do yeah. Homework. Do your homework. Yeah. There's. There's same lots thing of with opinions pistol. out there, for I mean, sure. You know, it goes down to the... It really does. It really it does. It doesn't have to be carving. But. On pistols, I would say um, major caliber. Um, and by major caliber, like police departments I work with, they say, you know, you, have, you can carry any pistol, but it has to be a major caliber. Um, nine and up. Um, Not BB I, gun? I think it's... Yeah, who's carrying 22s? <laughs> you know, well, for... For tactical work, I don't think so, but per, for personal carry or protective carry, a lot of people might carry something smaller. Based on how do, how do you carry, what's your situation? If I'm in shorts and no shirt all the time, can I really carry a full-size pistol? Probably not. But, or you can figure out a way. But yeah, all right.